I want to talk a little bit about air resistance in this video. Air resistance is not the same as friction. The friction we talked about comes from two surfaces rubbing against each other. There is static friction and the kinetic friction. For kinetic friction, it equals to mu k times normal force regardless of how fast the book slides. Air resistance or drag force has a different nature. They happen when an object moves through a fluid like air or water. When this book moves through air, it has to push this column of air out of its way. So if the book is at rest, there is no air resistance. There is no static air resistance. And the faster the book slides, the longer the air column it has to push away every second and therefore the larger the air resistance or air drag. So when you drive a car, the faster the car goes, the stronger the wind resistance or air resistance. And evidently, on a hot day, you burn more gas if you drive with your windows open at high speed than if you turn on the air conditioner and keep the windows closed at the same high speed. Let's look at this falling coffee filter you can see that the air resistance is not negligible. So if we consider air resistance, let's see, the moment I let go, it is at rest, so there is no air resistance. So the moment I let go, there is just mg acting on it and no air resistance. But as soon as it starts to pick up speed, there is air resistance. And the faster the coffee filter goes, the larger the air resistance. So the coffee filter keeps on picking up speed and the air resistance keeps on increasing until those two are equal. At that moment, the air resistance and the mg, they cancel each other. That means the acceleration is zero, but the velocity does not change. Because the coffee filter speed no longer increases, the air resistance no longer increases. So the mg and the air resistance stay balanced and for the rest of the journey, the coffee filter would go down at the same speed, which we call terminal speed or terminal velocity. As for this falling book, it has a large mg and a little bit of air resistance, I mean compared to the mg. So it is reasonable for us to ignore the air resistance. However, if I drop this book from a much greater height, as the book picks up speed, the air resistance will increase until the book reaches its terminal velocity. Just like the coffee filter, for the rest of the journey, the book will come down at a constant velocity. Of course, you can probably see that a book falling in this position with a narrow air column to push away will reach a faster terminal speed than falling in this position. And you may have heard this question before. If you throw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building, can the penny reach bullet speed and kill people down below? No, according to the Mythbusters, a penny can reach about 65 miles per hour or 29 meters per second of terminal speed. Not enough to do real damage. If you remember, we did a problem calculating the speed of raindrops coming down from rain clouds 4,000 meters high in the 12th kinematics video. Without air resistance, the raindrops can reach 280 meters per second. But with air resistance, the terminal speed could only be about 4 to 7 meters per second. Now, let's look at a skydiver. After jumping out of a plane, a skydiver with a horizontal spread out shape can reach a terminal velocity of 55 meters per second or 124 miles per hour. Of course, no skydiver wants to hit the ground at that speed. That's why he or she needs a parachute. Before the parachute opens, at terminal speed, 
the air resistance equals to the mg. When the parachute opens, suddenly the size of the air column to push away increases by a lot. So the air resistance increases by a lot. So there is a large net upward force, which means upward acceleration. Now the skydiver has a downward velocity and an upward acceleration. The velocity and acceleration are in opposite directions, so the skydiver, still traveling downward, slows down. So the air resistance decreases until it equals to mg and the skydiver reaches a new terminal velocity of about 5 meters per second for safe landing. I have posted some related links on my website if you're interested. See you next time.